Rico, I told you not to go through with this. Now you're dead. Take a seat. No feet on the table, you dirty ape. Okay, let's get down to business. So, what's the deal? There's this guy. He stole something very dear to me. I want you to steal something from him. Do you want us to kill him? No. I just wanted to steal something very close. To his heart. Can we see some papers on this guy? Here. Kind of joke? There's no papers in here. Exactly. What kind of dough are we talking about here? Okay, let's see. About this much. But before you leave, you boys need some ammo. There you go. Thank you, Big Daddy. Come on, Gregory, let's go. Christopher, I think we're here. Don't need to hide anymore. Are you sure? Why is the box so moist? It's urine to mask my scent. Ugh. Step back, apprentice. I got this. Look, door. No! 
us! Let's hurry up and get the big daddy. Uh, I got it. I mean, we got it. The package. It's very precious to his heart. Did you have any trouble? Not much. But now we know why he doesn't have any papers. Okay, so what's inside this box? We have no idea. Let's open it and see. Do you realize what you stole? What do you mean? You told us to steal something close to his heart and that's exactly what we did. He was even sleeping with it. This is no ordinary record player. You've brought hell itself down upon you. Idiotas! Regresen mi música! Long time no see, Juan. Haha! <laughs> Papa grande! I should have known it was you! <laughs> How's your wife? Don't go there, Juan. So wait. Big Daddy. This is the man who stole your wife's virginity in high school. Yes, that's right. I stole it multiple times. Wait, you can't steal virginity multiple times. Well, <laughs> I can. You've ruined my life, but now I've ruined yours. Big Daddy! I know you remember that box. Back in the old days, when we were still friends, and our love was great. We built it together, and all the magic from that friendship went into that box. And throughout all these years, I have gained great power from that box. Then how did these rookies here take the box from you? I was at my weakest point. I was sleeping and dreaming about our past friendship. It was... Very joyful. I see that our friendship still means something to you. You have kept this sweater for all these years. You must remember back in freshman year, we needed this together out of our own human hair. I respect that. That makes you a man. Well, that's enough talk. Let's end this now, right here. I agree. I am eager to smoke you honkies. All right, boys. Let's cook this bean. Well, huh, this fight seems fair. Three against one. One, your end is now. I didn't know Justin Bieber worked for Big Daddy. Gregory! No! Well, Big Daddy, let's deport this Mexican to hell. I've only been deported once in my entire life. I will never be deported again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've killed both of the rookies, Juan. This fight is gonna go on until one of us is dead. Big Daddy, wait. Do not shoot. Right now, we are like this. But we must be like this, like the good old days. What do you say, me and you reconcile? And we won. I don't know, Juan. There's so much I can't forgive you for. But it seems that this is the only choice other than death. 
I am glad we have come to this agreement, Big Daddy. All these years I've been so lonely without your friendship. But now that we are now one, I will be much happier.